Hi lovelies, hi swimmates. Welcome to the underboss corset tutorial. In this tutorial, you'll be taught a lot of things. Starting from how to draft an underboss corset pattern to how to finish an underboss corset pattern, how to make an outfit with an inseam finish in the perfect finishing you need for all your outfits and also how to sew an underboss corset and then let's get right to it so these are the materials we'll be needing for the class we'll be needing our eyelet plier for the finishing our eyelet plier and the eyelet itself this eyelet plier costs 3200 naira. it comes with a refill of 100 pieces of eyelet and then you can also buy a refill for it and this cost just 800 naira so it depends on how it is being sold to you but this comes together for 3200 if you're in Porta Court, you can order from Tubos app which is on Instagram or you can get it from Rookie Lawa stores if you're in Lagos or any other reliable vendor that sells tailoring materials so the next thing we'll be using is um, the belt buckle this belt buckle comes in three pieces the buckle the cover and the pin so if you are planning to make a customized outfit and you want to make a belt matching with the outfit you need this and um, i bought three pieces for 1250 like three sets of this for 1250 so this is what we'll be using to make our belt and then the next thing we need is our fabric and then boning like we have three types of boning we have this type you can sew on this boning while you can't sew on this boning this is a little bit difficult to cut with scissors than this this is very easy it is more flexible than this and um we have the other type of boning which is the steel boning i don't have that here i would have showed you to give you as an example so for this tutorial we'll be using this boning but i couldn't get this so i decided to go with this they are both effective and if you have either of them it is cool i'm going to be showing you how to work with this type of boning and also three different methods on how to work with this boning too so i'll be teaching you that and also the next thing we're going to be needed is our paper our scissors and then our pattern master or our ruler and the measurements so let's get right to it the measurements we'll need for this tutorial for this underboss process tutorial is our waist measurements we'll be needing our upper hip measurements we'll need our nipple to nipple We need our underboss circumference. And um, we need our distance between underboss to upper hip. This distance between our underboss to upper hip will help us to know the size of underboss corsets we want. How big you want your underboss corset how deep you want it to be so it depends on whatever it is you like it depends on your design it depends on all like on what you want to do on what you want to create on the outlook you really want you understand it depends on that and then the final measurement we need is our front body length or half length as we all know so the waist measurement we're working with today is 27 inches so we are planning on snatching waist 27 at least we're going to be snatching it to at least 24 that is at least we're snatching three inches off that is 20 to 24 inches and then the upper hip measurement we're working with is 31 the nipple to nipple measurement seven inches the under bust cost and um, circumference is 30 inches and then the distance from the underboss to the upper hip is 8 inches. 
and then the front body length is what 16 inches so these are the measurements we're going to be working with today now let's get right to the main work for the day which is the pattern making for the underbust corset so now we have gotten to the pattern making aspect of the making of the underbust corset now what we're going to do is the distance between the under bust to the upper hip you measure from your under bust to your upper hip measurement where you want the corset to start and where you want it to stop that is eight inches so we are going to have eight inches in mind but before we do anything with that eight inches we are going to like draw a margin at the horizontal and vertical side just for labeling so i have drawn a margin for labeling so that the pattern making will be very very clear for you guys so the next thing we're going to be doing is that eight inches that is where the corset will start from and where the corset the corset will end which is eight inches so i'm going to measure eight inches on this end and then i am going to mark i'm going to like measure it as wide as i can but not too wide keeping in mind that the measurement i'm working with is that of a small person but not really small like that so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be taking the highest measurement that has to do with the circumference that is the upper hip measurement which is 31 inches so i'm going to divide this 31 by 2 since i am drafting this pattern on a half scale that is why i'm going to be dividing this 31 by 2 which is going to give us 15 and a half inches so i am going to measure 15 and a half inches on this side to show us the width on a half scale so i'm just going to measure 15 and a half and then i'm also going to measure 15 and a half right here and then i'm going to join both lines together and then remember we measured the length of our underbust corset, which is 8 inches. So it depends on your size. It can be 8 inches or more. It can be 8 inches or more. Depends on your size and depends on the design of the corset you really want to make. So I'm going to connect the lines. So here it is. So this is the block on a half scale, the pattern on a half scale. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to divide this into two parts to give us the front and the back. So 15 and a half divided by 2 is 7.75. So I'm just going to measure 7.75 from either side. 7.75 from either side and then I am going to mark. So this is 7.75. And then I'm going to mark And then I am going to label after dividing it into two parts. This side will be my front, so I'm going to label this as my center front, and this side will be my back. I am going to label this as my center back. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to locate the half length or the front body length on this pattern. Remember, we started with the under bust line to the upper hip line. Now the under bust measurement we're working with is 13. So we're going to be locating our front body length or half length from the other bust. So since the under bust measurement is 13, so I'm going to locate my front body length measurement and my front body length or my half length measurement is what 16. So I'm going to measure 16 right here. I'm going to do the same on both sides, placing the underbust measurement on the underbust line. I'm going to locate the half length and then I'm also going to do the same thing right here. It is as simple as that. It is not difficult. All you have to do is just to calm down, put your mind at rest and then get to work and then you see how beautiful it's going to come out. So, trying to connect the lines as neatly as possible. So this is our under bust line, this is our waist line, and this is what our upper hip line. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to 
place our darts. What are darts meant for? Darts are meant to give control to the body, give shape. And since this is an underboss corset, it has to, you know, give you that cinching shape, give you that hourglass figure. So, to place our darts, we, we are going to be using our nipple to nipple distance. The nipple to nipple distance I'll be working with today is 7 inches. And since we are drafting on a half scale, what do I do as usual? I am going to divide 7 inches by 2. So this will give me 3.5 inches. So I'm just going to measure 3.5 inches up here. And then I am going to mark 3.5 inches up here. And I'm going to mark. And then I'm also going to do the same thing for the back. I'm going to do the same thing for the back. I'm also going to measure 3.5 inches from the center back for the placement of what? For the placement of our dart. So I have measured the dart, um, the nipple to nipple measurement at the back side too, which is 3.5 to give us the location for our dart. So the next thing I'm going to do is to draw, draw out our dart. So this part is very simple. All you have to do is just to measure. 0.75 on the left side of the dart and 0.75 on the right side of the dart. Do not make a mistake by mistaking the side seam for the dart. So I'm just going to measure the I'm I'm going to write on top of the side seam to show us that this is where our side seam is. I'm going to label it. So back to our dart, I'm going to measure 0.75. That is almost an inch, but not an up to an inch. On the left hand side, 0.75 on the right hand side, and then I'm going to connect it down to the upper hip line and also to the under post line. Can you see how easy it is? Very easy. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing the same thing for the back that I'm going to measure 0.75 to the left, simple, 0.75 to the right, and then I am going to connect it. So here it is, I have connected it, and then the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to stay at the side seam and then measure. Now this part is important. If on the norms, you have a tiny waist, a very tiny waist compared to your hip. You are going to measure 0.75 also at both sides of the side seam. But if you know your shape is just like a normal shape, and then you will have to just measure like half inch on the left and half inch also at the right hand side. Now, after I might have done this, I am going to cross check my measurements because sizes vary. I'm going to cross check my measurements, my original waist measurements, and then the waist measurement I am going to be snatching my waist to compare to the remaining measurement on the pattern. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to measure and skip the dots. So this is three point three, this is um two point seven five. I'm going to skip two point seven five measure. This is 5.75, skip, this is 8.75, skip, and this is 11 and a half. 11 and a half times 2, because this is on a half scale, give us what? 23. And the original measurement is what? 27. And we're going to snatch our waist to 24, so 23 is fine. So you have to do this cross check, so that by the time you're done, your corset will not be bigger than your assumed waist measurement because the assumed waist measurement is the measurement we are snatching our waist to. So since you want to snatch up to 3 inches to give us 24 and we have a measurement of 23 here, it's fine, like very fine. It will even give us more room to snatch more if your body is willing. <laughs> so let's get right to it then. We are done with that. We can see that this corset is perfect for the measurement size. So this will help you when you're drafting for bigger sizes and you're drafting for irregular sizes. You will know how to give them that perfect underboss corset. So the next thing we're going to be doing is that since in most underboss corsets, there is usually like a V-line 
or a V shape at the center back. So we're going to do it here. If you notice, there are some wedding dresses too that also have that have lacing. So this is also the same method used while drafting pattern for such dresses for the center back of such dresses so here is what i'm talking about your is, is it that you measure two inches here and one inch here depends on how wide you want the back space to be so but for me i do not want it to be too wide i'm just going to go with 1.25 inches to 0 0.75 inch that's just fine for me it depends on how you want yours to be if you want the space behind to be big fine if you do not want it to be big if you just want it to be a little bit v just a little v a little v shape that shape at the back of your corset if you just want it to be little then that is also fine and if you do not want it at all all you have to do is just to shape this by come in here by half inch and then that is all if you do not want that v shape at the back of your cousin and this is the v shape i am talking about so guys do not mind my drawing but this is the v shape i'm talking about you can see that this shape is very familiar with wedding dresses a lot of dresses not necessarily wedding dresses so to achieve this i am coming in by 0 0.75 and 1.25 because i do not want uh, v that is too obvious i just want a normal v since this is on fold so it depends on how you want yours to be but if you do not want any v at all if you want yours to be closed then you just go in here by half inch and then connect it upwards that is all but for me i want a v so i am going to do that just right now and then i am going to connect this So this is our new center back so it is as simple as that as simple as that so the next thing we're going to do is the on the under bust corset shaping so to give you that shape at the side i can decide to just go in here a little go in here a little to give us that shape to give you that you know it's coming in here and it's also coming in here you understand it's coming in here and coming here so i want to do the same thing to my pattern now and all I'm going to do is just to measure 1.5 inches down here and I can measure an inch here it's as simple as that 1 inch 1.5 inches it depends on how you want yours to be so I'm just going to can you see and do the same thing here too So I make sure I blend it well. Can you see? So I'm going to do the same thing right here. And then I'm going to blend it. So this is our underboss corset pattern. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to cut it out. Remember, this is just a margin, and this is also just a margin. And then remember, this side is going to be out. So I'm going to cut it out now. 